what to do when you catch yourself in a bad mood and a low vibration, like feeling miserable even for no reason. For no apparent reason at all, you just find yourself feeling horrible. I'm going to show you what you can do. Very simple thing you can do to um, bring yourself back to you, to feeling yourself again. Welcome to my channel. I'm Linda Armstrong and here on this channel we talk about all things to do with um, living a life you love I asked my website lovemylife.coach right to be able to hold yourself in a high vibration receive inspiration and manifest the life that you want that's what we talk about here energy healing spiritual awakening and all that good stuff that really is just um, more about you, who you are, and the power you have to make things happen in your life. So um, if you're interested in those things, I would love you to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. So now, let's talk about this. You find yourself in a bad mood, and you don't even know how you got there. You woke up feeling fine. <laughs> There's nothing going on. Um, you go through your day, blah, 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 blah. Before you know it, you're like, you're feeling like um, maybe even angry or miserable or um, extra tired or some sort of a lower vibration and you don't even know how it happened, where it came from. So the thing you want to do, the very first thing that you want to do is just ask yourself, simple question, is this energy mine? But you never thought to do that before. Is this energy mine or did I pick it up from someone else? So I'm gonna just guess that if you're watching videos that I create you're probably somewhat empathic which means you take on energy from other people very easily. Um, it's almost, it, you could even have some kind of subconscious program going on there. Like you might not realize it, that you're a healer. I basically believe everybody's a healer on this planet. We're all here to help each other. Um, but you may not even know that aspect of you, which is really a big part of what creates you to absorb so much energy, to be of that empathic nature. It's like you're taking that energy away from other people and in some way, going to process it out of yourself. Now, when people don't know that this is their way, they can get like really overloaded. And so there's, and luckily there's healing work that can be done to clear that and bring you back to yourself. But what I'm talking about here right now is just, you know, the simple everyday things that all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're wondering what's, what's wrong, right? So you, so that's what you do. You ask yourself, is this energy mine? And then you think, what did I do earlier today? Oops, sorry, shaking the table. What did I do earlier today? You know, like, where was I? Uh, who was I talking to? Could have even been on the phone, right? And you, and you look back and then you're like, oh, that's right. So-and-so called me and they were telling me about this situation that's happening in their life. And you realize you've taken on their energy. It's not yours, right? Or maybe you were in a, in a mall or something and there's so much energy and when there's and when you're in public environments where there are a lot of people and if you don't know you're empathic um, a good tip off is that you don't even like going to those places right because they always make you feel they always drain you well they drain you because you're just absorbing too much of that energy so you want to say to yourself well what was i doing oh yeah i went to the mall that always happens it always makes me um, drained or you went to the movies or you were at some kind of um, even a, a corporate function or somewhere a dinner you know with all these other people and so you can look back and say oh you know I, maybe I took on the energy from there like there's so many different ways you can you are on you know that you can pick up this energy <laughs> they're like so many are flying in my head right now but I don't think I have to list them all it's just you want to go back and think well what was I doing earlier today who was I with um, what did I experience and then you if you notice something 
um, and you think, oh yeah, I was talking to so-and-so, then you ask yourself, well, is this energy mine or does this belong to them? And you'll get a yes or no. So if you hear a, um, is this energy mine, and you hear no, then it's like, okay, good, it's not my energy. <laughs> then I can just work to release it. And simply to release it, you can just quiet yourself, right? Take a couple of slow, deep breaths. I like to do like five, six seconds in, hold your breath, five, six seconds out. Repeat that like three times. And then just let yourself breathe very naturally, very calmly. Eyes can be closed. And you're just finding yourself, your balance, your center. And then you ask that this energy, ask spirit, you know. Um, I ask that this energy that I've picked up from this other person, this other place, this other experience, that it be released and turned back into pure positive love. You can do that. You have the power to do that. You just make the request to spirit. I have to take this energy and just release it from my system, turning it back to pure love. Now, if it was a situation where it did involve another person, that maybe they're going through something, it could be your spouse, it could be your kids, right? And you just then ask, and, and you know, you now you're in this calm space, and you want to kind of, you can even put your attention on the bridge of your nose, right? So you focus your attention on the bridge of your nose and you let everything else kind of fall to the, to the side, right? So you're just really centering yourself, allowing, when you put your attention on the bridge of your nose, it kind of allows you to let these other things fall away. So then you're just in this peaceful place and then you can ask that this energy of peace and that the, this love that I have in my heart be sent to that person. And, you know, if their soul is, is welcoming it, they'll take it. Um, if it isn't, then it'll just bounce off and go somewhere else. There's never any wasted love. And I've done videos on sending love. I, maybe I'll um, put them in the cards up there for you to look at. Um, but really, you just intend to send this energy. I like connecting to the feeling of love because it just, why not? It feels so good to connect to the energy of love. Be in that space and then send it out. So just to go over it, you find yourself in a funky energy. Ask yourself, is this energy mine or someone else's? You hear, is this energy mine? No. Then you're like, oh, okay, whose was it? And you think about that and you're like, oh, yeah, okay, right. This is what happened. This is where I was. You know. So then you can just quiet yourself, a couple of easy breaths, maybe put your attention on the bridge of your nose and just quiet everything else out. Allow yourself to expand into that peaceful energy. Drop into your heart. Feel that love. Ask spirit to release this energy that you've taken on and to just transmute it, transform it back to love. And then taking that feeling of love and just sending it out to whoever it was or whatever the situation was. You could send the energy out to the whole entire mall, to everyone who was there. You know, I wind up, I might do that where I'm specifically sending energy, but because this is energy of love, I wind up sending it to everyone. Like I'll start listing people and more and more people. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's just send it to the, the whole entire universe. <laughs> the more you do it, the more you get addicted to it. I'm addicted to sending love to people. So that's my tip. I hope it helps you. Um, I'd love to hear any comments you have. If you've ever done this kind of thing before, um, please share it down below because uh, I would love to hear it. So share, um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on another video. Bye.